one has finally it's realized it. how hard Rosalina is for Ness. He's back on the Cloud Cool Aid. Let's see if it works out for him in uh, Winners Finals. I mean, let's be real, S1's Cloud is, you know, it's amazing Cloud. It is probably the best Cloud in Europe bar Mr. R, that is my personal opinion. Um, yeah, but you know, oh. <laughs> there's the untackable Luma down there, why not? So much for your praise, man. Yeah, I mean, let's be real, untackable Luma down there. Yeah. Still pretty funny. Yeah, still pretty funny. That's fair enough. <laughs> Purple Age, you know, he has more results. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. he, he deserves the title. Um, but I think S1, he is going to pull out Cloud a little bit more frequently. Uh, At least in matchups like yeah. these. So, he's already left 10% and getting pulled off stage. Not forced to use his limit, that's Fortune, because uh, he needs everything he can get right now. The dash attack was a little bit late. Here come the Nair strings, the Nair plane, and you know, ro oh, but he makes it. What? But he makes it. Okay, so like what happened there was because Rosalina's so floaty, she actually gets to drift so, so very, and once again, Luma, Luma with landing. the two frame. Wow, wow, wow. That was Luma twice in a row just, you know, pulling it out on the off stage. Just denied. And you are, know, are, we even <laughs> are we even getting to play the game? Homika absolutely decimating S1 spot. Like, there's nothing left of it. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> well, it's gonna get regenerated for game two. Uh. Oh, Belfield, please, please tell me they fixed the music. Three. Oh, thank the Lord. Go. What's wrong with Battlefield music? <laughs> well, nothing. There's one thing wrong with Battlefield music, and that's Trophy Rush, and Tatum yeah, was on okay. the stream earlier. Okay. But thankfully, I think those guys over there fixed the music. Okay, oh. so the Ooh. thing the thing that I'm seeing from S1 that's kind of questionable, especially in this matchup. So the one thing that he never really does is dedicate himself to limit camping. He will yeah. sometimes like cam it, cam uh, that, charge limit. That's a big difference between in. him and Tor Purple oh, yeah, by the sure. way. And I, you know, personally, I think limit camping is the optimal cloud. Okay. Oh, and again, the edge guard, but not enough percent to make the spike worthwhile. So that was a really horrible jump, but it kind of worked out because he was at <laughs> such low percent. Yeah. So don't do it again. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it again, please. Uh, I would like to see S1 hold on to that limit because it all went wrong with the edge guarding in the last game, so you need that boosted recovery. That's what I would like to see from S1. Oh, but instead, we're getting. Oh, he has a double Questionable up the uh, limit juice from S1. So now and he, he doesn't know, have the juice. He doesn't have the juice for a hard recovery. He doesn't have the juice, and he's not, he's not trying to get it back either. He just wants to pressure uh, Rosalina at this point. Charges a little bit of limit, just trying to get that free oh. charge in, but it's just not enough. And that four there, it's just reckless aggression. And I'm, it's I, not, I mean, it's, it's not amazing. In this it's matchup. it's okay to start swinging instead of charging, but you gotta be hitting if you uh, if you want to play like that. Oh, there it oh, is! There it that is! That was so well done. Not really much of an option for Homika right there. Only thing he could have done is, of course, wait it. But he wants to go long. early yep. to just you know mix it up. Yeah. Luma there, no limit. That is the end of your stock. Goodbye, S1. Homika evening it up very, very quickly. And you know, Homika showing that he's he's very, very good at this matchup. Very, very uh, practiced, I would say. Because you know, the one thing that Rosalina does have in this matchup is that offstage game. And the one thing that Cloud needs to do against Rosalina is save his limit for that offstage game. You know, I actually would like to see S1 pick up MK for this matchup because I low-key think MK does better <laughs> than Cloud. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows that. But oh, there's some people, especially Rosamaze, were actually saying, but that, that's a while back, that Cloud might be better. Okay, so a punish on hit by the Luma into an off -rush. Nice combo by Homika right there. Homika, so much control. Okay. He's looking for the back air, not getting it. 8% from a oh, weak that down air. air. It's not gonna knock Luma back in S1. I mean, his cloud is doing decently, but it just looks like he's not very familiar with the matchup. That's a big deal, you know? Yeah. Fourth throw. Double jumps over once again, using his double jump. Has to use limit because he's so greedy. But that is why we save it for those moments. So he wasn't straight up gone. After that, he unfortunate straight hit. gone, but he could have still had his limit at this point. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Oh, but the up smash actually lasting hitbox because of Luma. And S1 with the clutch gets a good kill kill move right there. That up smash is so huge, man. Such a good anti-air. That's a 1-1. One, one. That is a 1-1. One, one.
guess he's figuring it. Yeah, it just one Ben, my man. One Ben and Diazar. Yep. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. One Ben Diazar. What kind of Diazar do you have here? Modified, right? Just the last one you lost some. Uh, I think so, yeah. I mean, we've, we've always ran modified in the Netherlands. I don't think we even call it modified because it used to be, you know, what is now Actually. called modified used to be the original Dave Stupid Rule. Yeah. And then people started running what is now Dave Stupid Rule and started calling the old Dave Stupid Rule modified Dave Stupid Rule. Well, that's kind of... Well, it's the original Dave Stupid Rule. Well, I know that sounds really confusing. <laughs> uh, but TLDR, what is now known as the modified Dave Stupid Rule, is the original Dave Stupid Rule, and we've always ran the original Dave okay. Stupid Rule. The current Dave Stupid Rule, so not the original Dave Stupid Rule, I think... It has no reason for existing. Yep. I think what what is now known as modified DSR is the only proper way to do DSR. Yeah, that's how. That, I mean, that's how it, it's always been. Yeah, that doesn't it's make it's sense to lock Americans. down half of the stage list, you know. Yep. Oh no! Early up B, very well done by S1. No greed right there. Just going for that calculated risk reward. Gets a nice juggle going. Gets Luma off stage with those jabs. A little bit too uh, much. Now that's perhaps. a matchup thing. Like, if he played this matchup more often, he would have known that the second jab is already enough to put him over the edge. Uh, actually, Luma died there, 2-2 two, two HP. Oh, okay. So normally he would need that triple jab. But, you know, Luma did this little cry, and then he... Oh, and again, knockout. premature limit uses by S1. He is getting a oh, little bit greedy. But that combo immediately compensates for it. And all this momentum, he's going to get at least half his limit back. Ah, that, that, that is drop. so beautiful. And right now, he's sitting on nearly fully charged limit. Does have that side B available to him still. There it is. Actually, catches the Rosalina for 2%. Not quite worth it. But you know. Oh, he doesn't. Oh? Mm, okay, okay that was that's an a error. mistake. That's yep. a mistake. Giving away his limit for free. Not what you want to be doing. But unfortunately for S1, he does have quite a lot of wiggle room. So can't afford to make a mistake or two. Luma's out. There's one off stage without limits. But that down air is just gonna beat that back air straight up. Ooh, nice air dodge away by Homika. He knew what, uh, what S1 was gonna do, right? Right here, off stage, that down air is gonna be the weakest of weak hits. <laughs> he went nowhere. Honestly, I might be inclined to say he went up. <laughs> Almost. And once again, no limit has been. Oh, once. Limit has. Oh, oh the attack. attack! There you are, S1. Very well done. Gets a down air trade. Good bit of percent, but does kick the bucket eventually. I just want to see him get limited and just not use it. And just not use it, man. Just for once. I'm just a little bit scared that if he does, Omega is going to put him off stage again and do one of them two frames. Yep. With the lunar that landing. Luma. Just down there straight through the juggles. Very well done by S1. Knows when that is a true combo and when downer is actually going to interrupt. And just like that, the advantage is going to be pushed all yeah. the way to stock. And S1, you know, he's showing. Uh, he's showing why he picks Cloud in this matchup now. Yeah. That game one was very, very unfortunate. Twice that Luma gimped him. I mean, well done by Homika, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, S1 hasn't let it happen since. We're also seeing why Cloud is such a good character Versus to, to secondary and pocket. Because we're not seeing a tremendously optimized Cloud or anything. It's just, just a good player with a good character and you're able to do well. Yep. I mean, to be fair, it is hard to land a good combo starter on Rosalina. Very, oh, without very a doubt, yeah. character. Yeah, but uh, I'm just, just saying, you know, the difference between uh, a character like uh, like Cloud for secondary, where we can clearly see a difference yeah. uh, between S1 and uh, Ezreal, for example, who's really figured out every little thing about Cloud, and you can still be effective without that. For a secondary, uh, a character no. like Pikachu, that you really, really have to grind to, uh, well, fair to, uh, yeah, to yeah, get it to the level that points it's taken. on the... Dex the down smash not gonna give any knockback to Luma. No Backer charging, spacing. just a lot of running and a lot of aerials. And Homika is kind of unsure what to do with it, but he just waits for the right opportunity. Very well done by Homika. Nice patience. It's very hard not to run into one of those aerials. They're so huge. <laughs> yeah. Dash attack tries to get rid of Luma. Does not get rid of Luma and gets punished. Once again gets punished. And there's the landing dash attack. S1 gets that kill to jab, has limits, 
Chrome, very well done. Catches the jump with the back air. And uh, S1. The, the, the limit usage is it's so... very questionable. Yeah, man. It's, it's straight up weird. <laughs> I mean, we've seen his cloud before. He doesn't really do this. Well, maybe, maybe this is the new cloud. Maybe this is new cloud. Maybe that's the way he just approaches his matchup. He tries to get limits as often as possible uh, by just blowing it as soon as possible. Because, you know, when you blow limit, that also means you get to charge it again and have that amazing neutral game. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was uh, a daring maneuver by S1, I dare say. And the Ooh. down smash is going to whiff all those hitboxes, yet none of them hit. It looked like it would, but it didn't. And the back air is going to close it out. S1 in the lead for game four. Tilt. Actually, at zero percent down tilt is gonna knock the Luma away. Very, very good uh, pressure tool, you know. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why Cloud does so well in this matchup. Just all around useful moves like up air, back air, dash attack, down tilt. All fantastic for getting rid of Luma. Once again, that limit just kind of getting blown. Down smash, good knockback for Rosalina. A beast through the down air. Yeah, fantastic spacing. Just, fantastic just timing as well. Yeah, just outside that halo. And. You know, Homika once again looking for that back air on, on the ledge snap, but not going to get it. However, that up air is going to beat Cloud's uh, down air. That up air so disjointed, so well found by Homika. I mean, even though it is very disjointed, Cloud's moves are disjointed as well. You need some expert micro spacing to get that hit in. Slight, slight lead for S1. Basically, net negligible. Yep. Big juggles on Luma though, but he yeah. chooses to go for Homika rather than Luma. That seems to be a consistent choice as one is making in this particular matchup. Back throw. Oh, Luma this gets time that dies so actually. Please hold on to limit, my friend. There it wow. is. Trump to side B. That's gonna close it out. S1 with the three-one victory over Homika in winners finals, getting his revenge after losing to Homika twice yesterday. So that means that Homika is now the, the final boss of the losers bracket. Yep. Uh, but he's got 